Don Rickles reveals how he really felt about Clint Eastwood. Don Rickles, the legendary comedian known for his rapid-fire insult humor and quick wit, was surrounded by a plethora of fascinating gossip throughout his career. Often referred to as the Merchant of Venom and Mr. Warmth, Rickles' unique comedic style made him a beloved figure, but it also led to numerous behind-the-scenes stories that fans found endlessly intriguing. One of the most persistent rumors about Rickles involved his offstage demeanor. Despite his onstage persona of a sharp-tongued comic who mercilessly roasted his audience, friends, and fellow celebrities, many who knew him personally claimed he was a kind and gentle person in real life. This contrast between his stage act and his real personality fueled much of the gossip surrounding him. Friends and colleagues often recounted how Rickles would go out of his way to ensure no one was genuinely hurt by his jokes, sometimes even apologizing in private after particularly harsh roasts. Another juicy tidbit often discussed was Rickles' famous friendship with Frank Sinatra. Their relationship was the stuff of Hollywood legend, with Rickles often using Sinatra as a target for his barbs, something that few others dared to do given Sinatra's powerful status in the entertainment industry. It was said that Sinatra's appreciation for Rickles' humor was so profound that he once interrupted a live performance to introduce Rickles to his audience, cementing Rickles' reputation and boosting his career. The stories of their escapades together, including wild nights in Las Vegas and private parties with other members of the Rat Pack, were the subject of much speculation and fascination. Rickles' interactions with other celebrities also provided ample fodder for gossip. His appearances on shows like The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson and the Dean Martin celebrity roast were legendary, often leading to memorable moments that became the talk of the town. One famous incident involved Rickles breaking into Johnny Carson's office during a live taping of The Tonight Show to apologize for accidentally breaking Carson's cigarette box. This spontaneous and unscripted moment showcased Rickles' boldness and quick thinking, making it a favorite topic of discussion among fans and industry insiders alike. Rumors about Rickles' backstage antics were also common. Stories of practical jokes and his ability to keep everyone laughing even off-camera, circulated widely. It was said that Rickles had a particular talent for lightening the mood on set, no matter how tense things got. His quick comebacks and playful insults were not just part of his act but a way to bond with colleagues and crew members, making him a beloved figure behind the scenes. Furthermore, Rickles' longevity in the entertainment industry contributed to the abundance of gossip. Spanning over six decades, his career saw him transitioning from stand-up comedy to television and film, allowing for a multitude of stories to emerge. His role in movies like Kelly's Heroes and Casino added another layer to his already multifaceted persona, with fans and critics alike eager to dissect his performances and speculate about his off-screen relationships with co-stars. In his personal life, Rickles' long and happy marriage to his wife, Barbara, was also a topic of admiration and curiosity. Married for over 50 years, their enduring relationship was a rarity in Hollywood, often sparking conversations about the secret to their lasting union. Friends and family would share anecdotes about the couple's deep bond and mutual respect, further enhancing Rickles' image as a man who was vastly different from his onstage alter ego. Even into his later years, Rickles remained a relevant and beloved figure, with his appearances on modern talk shows and cameos in contemporary films keeping the gossip mill turning. His guest appearances on shows like Jimmy Kimmel Live, and his voice role as Mr. Potato Head in the Toy Story franchise introduced him to new generations of fans, ensuring that stories about his life and career continued to circulate. Don Rickles reveals how he really felt about Clint Eastwood. Don Rickles, the legendary comedian known for his quick wit and sharp tongue, never held back his opinions, especially about his friends and fellow celebrities. One of the most notable figures he frequently commented on was Clint Eastwood, the iconic actor and director. Rickles, who was famous for his insult comedy, had a unique relationship with Eastwood that was marked by both humor and genuine respect. Rickles and Eastwood's friendship began in the 1960s when both were rising stars in Hollywood. Rickles was making a name for himself in comedy clubs and on television, while Eastwood was becoming a household name with his roles in westerns like Rawhide and the Dollars Trilogy. 
Their paths crossed at Hollywood events and parties, where Rickles' biting humor often found Eastwood as a target. Despite the sharp jabs, Eastwood appreciated Rickles' humor and the two developed a mutual respect's talents. Rickles' comedy was characterized by his ability to insult people in a hilarious and endearing way. When it came to Eastwood, Rickles never held back. He often poked fun at Eastwood's tough guy image, his squinting eyes, and his quiet demeanor. Rickles once quipped, Clint, if you spoke any slower, you'd be in reverse. Such comments were all in good fun, and Eastwood took them in stride, often laughing along with the audience. This dynamic became a staple in their interactions, with Rickles' roast serving as a testament to their friendship. Despite the public ribbing, Rickles had immense respect for Eastwood as both an actor and a director. In interviews, Rickles often spoke about Eastwood's talent and work ethic. He admired Eastwood's ability to transition from acting to directing, noting how seamlessly he moved behind the camera. Rickles praised Eastwood's films for their depth and craftsmanship, highlighting movies like Unforgiven and Million Dollar Baby as examples of his exceptional skill. Rickles once said, Clint is a guy who can do it all. He acts, he directs, he produces. And he does it all with such ease. It's remarkable. Offstage and outside the limelight, Rickles and Eastwood shared personal moments that solidified their bond. They would often meet for dinner or social gatherings, where their conversations ranged from the film industry to personal anecdotes. Rickles cherished these moments, as they allowed him to see a different side of Eastwood, one that was more relaxed and candid. In these settings, Rickles' humor took a backseat to genuine camaraderie. Eastwood, known for his reserved nature, opened up to Rickles in a way that he rarely did with others, a testament to the trust and friendship they shared. Their friendship was also evident in their public appearances together. Rickles and Eastwood attended various award shows, premieres, and talk shows, often stealing the spotlight with their playful banter. One notable appearance was on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson, where Rickles humorously grilled Eastwood about his acting career and directorial choices. These appearances were not just for show, they reflected the genuine affection and mutual admiration they had for each other. In the later years of his life, Rickles reflected on his career and relationships with his friends in the industry. When asked about Eastwood, Rickles' tone was one of fondness and admiration. He often expressed gratitude for having Eastwood as a friend and colleague. Rickles once remarked, Clint is a true legend, not just in film, but as a person. He's a man of integrity, and I am proud to call him my friend. This sentiment was echoed in Rickles' memoirs and interviews, where he consistently highlighted Eastwood as one of the most significant and respected figures in his life. Don Rickles' feelings about Clint Eastwood were a complex blend of humor, respect, and genuine affection. While he never missed an opportunity to poke fun at Eastwood's expense, it was always clear that Rickles held him in the highest regard. Their friendship, marked by playful insults and deep respect, is a testament to the enduring bond between two of Hollywood's most iconic figures.